Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and a subscriber sent me an email saying, I'm trying to put text to line, I think he means text to path. I'm putting V's together to create a stitch look around the letters that have been contoured. And whenever you take V's, the letter V, and then you put them together, and you know, he's saying he's using the shape tool, and you know, you'd have to weld them together, and, and then they're not a text anymore, so a text to path will not work. And it's a pretty neat effect. He's trying to get a stitch effect and uh, something like that. So I've taken a contour of the letters and I, I've got everything broken apart, but I've got my nudge factor set or my nudge distance where I can uh, put them right back. And I've drawn the letter V. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of that V and move it over. Now I need this same thing. Uh, five times so I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of this control D control D because I want to save that same exact size now let's move these down a little bit and let's zoom in here so, so you need one for each letter so we're going to select two V's we're going to go up to effects blend and we're going to blend it I'm going to say 150 times and put apply and then go right here and sometimes when this window isn't open you can hit this down arrow key and go right here start or make a new path put that on your path now here's what you need to do with this V you need to rotate and you need to blend along full path and then hit apply now that's not quite close enough so let's go 180 let's go 200 that's what's nice about the blend tool that looks pretty good so now you see why I saved this so now I can go I can blend these two together and let's go uh, 200 times again put apply go down to new path put it on our end we're going to need to blend along full path and rotate and hit apply. That looks pretty good. And you see why I made copies and now because all my V's are the same. The A is not going to probably take as many, so let's go 180 just because there's not as much literal. Put apply. New path. Put along our path. Blend and rotate hit apply that looks pretty good one more time the J is going to take really less let's go 150 and you can play with these put along new path rotate and blend along full path because if you don't rotate them the V's will be standing up it won't be the stitch effect that looks pretty good now it actually did the inside of the A this time so I don't need that then just select all these back and nudge them back up. And there you have a stitch effect around numbers or around text. Now, if you were going to cut anything out, you've got to keep in mind that, that my hairline is still there. So what we can do is go grab our stitch, go to arrange, break, blend apart, Let's grab the blend and move it down. It's going to get all but the original first two and move them down. Get rid of our hairline and then move these right back. And then that way you do not have a hairline. You don't have to do that if you're not, if you're just engraving. But if you're cutting, the laser is going to find that hairline and, um, and engrave it. If you make it larger than a hairline, it's going to engrave. And that might not be a bad look. It might look like more like a sewing machine. So let's try that and see what it looks like. Let's zoom in here. Let's break, blend apart. Grab our blend and move it down. We'll actually grab the, the center line, which is good. That's what we want to do. But now we're going to change it to black. And we'll make it a little bit thicker so it will not cut. 
and then we'll put it back. That's a little bit thick, but you can back up. We made it one point. Let's make it a half a point. It will not even it will not cut now because it's bigger than a hairline. And just move it back. So it would be your call what would look better. I think that actually looks really good. It looks more complete. Anyway, I hope it helped him a little bit. And thank you for watching.